They raise young, they feel joy, they feel loss, pain, excitement. They have each other, they have societies of their own just like we do. If tomorrow we woke up and elephants no longer existed, it would be an incredible indictment of us, of the human race. People need to truly care about something in order to protect it. Engaging with elephants on an emotional level can inspire people to act on their behalf. More than 1.6 million people visit the Oregon Zoo every year. If just a fraction of those people took action, it could have a huge impact. Elephants have been a part of this community for more than 60 years. People have grown up with them. They know their personalities. They know them by name. They come out with their grandchildren. They tell them stories about what it was like when they were a kid and when Packy was a kid. It was time for a change with the elephant habitat at the Oregon Zoo because we knew that our elephants needed more than what they had. So when we asked the voters to help support that, they were right alongside us. It's called Elephant Lands. We looked at this design through their eyes. What is it that they need? They need to be able to develop social groupings. They need to be able to make decisions for themselves. They need to forage for 14, 16 hours a day. Started with ideas, and then from the ideas come sketches, just, you know, little drawings, circles, squares. We then put those circle squares together and gradually the project design builds from there. The whole concept is based on the structure of elephant society. Elephants live in a matriarchal herd. That's related females working together to help raise young. You can see that when you watch Lily with her aunts and Lily with her mom and watch how they interact and protect her but allow her to explore a little bit more each day. Male elephants tend to live on their own and then will join the herds for short periods of time, then wander off to defend the territory from other big bulls with younger male elephants kind of following in their wake, learning from them as they go. Elephant Lands was designed with interconnected habitats to allow the elephants to choose who they want to be with and where they want to go, when they want to go. We have five total habitats plus Forest Hall and then the Elephant Care Building. This is Forest Hall. It's one of the largest indoor elephant habitats in the world. The elephants can come in and out as they please. We have four feet of sand throughout the building, throughout the habitat. We have planted food at different locations throughout the habitat. They never know where that food will be or when it will be there, so it keeps them foraging like they would in the wild. The pool is 160,000 gallons. That allows us to have the whole herd swimming at once and they can be fully submerged. We're at a critical moment right now for both Asian and African elephants. This habitat is about connecting people with what they can do, whether it's taking a stand against the ivory trade or engaging on the palm oil issue. There was a huge group of people who made this possible. Everyone from the voters who approved the bond to the staff who brought the ideas, Oregon Zoo Foundation and the donors, the architects and the guys who actually built the facilities, our guests, the people that come here every day. This habitat is our community's collective gift to the elephants. 